Hi, here is the uh, mesh that's used for the simple figure. You can see that on the limbs there is an extra set of vertices in the middle of each limb. Uh, beyond just the simple pentagon and five cones, the extra set of vertices in the middle there is there so that when the bones underneath this uh, structure are used, they will bend instead of just moving the whole limb. Here you can see the model again, the just the whole mesh. And here are the bones that the mesh is attached to. You can see there are bones in each limb. And right in the center is the root or the parent bone that the other ones are attached to. They are logically attached, but you can see that they don't actually touch it. Uh, the requirement for this loader is just that there is a single parent bone for everything. And here you can see the little face, part of the face is uh, highlighted at this point. And it's just some circles sitting in front of the body. And now uh, we'll color the figure and we'll preview the animation in the walk animation in Blender. All of this so far is in Blender where the model was built. Well, there's the parent bone sticking out of his back and you can actually see the labels for the other bones kind of floating around there too. Uh, coming up here, this is the actual rendering with lighting in Blender. And then here is the mo same model exported into Ogre format and imported into Croquet. And you can see that the croquet lighting is rather harsh on this model, so it really doesn't look quite the same.